Hi there, welcome to the clinic. Hello. Nice how to are meet you? you. Nice to meet you. My name is Dr. Sumita. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing really well. Okay, Thank awesome. You. So it's your new first time at yes. this clinic. Okay. So we'll be doing a head to toe assessment for a new patient intake. Um, do you have any questions for me before we get started? No. Okay. So I believe the receptionist already took a, a history for you, so I'm going to go ahead and do um, your vitals first, okay? I'm going to put this under your tongue, close your mouth, and just hold it with this arm right here. And then I'm just going to take your pulse. Good, you don't have a fever. I'm going to take your blood pressure. Just rest your arm right here. Please raise your arm and pump your fist 10 times, just okay. like that. Yes. We're just going to increase the circulation. So we can take another reading. Okay. I just want you to relax your arm, just like that. Good. Your blood, sugar, blood pressure is 110 over 70, which is within the normal range. Okay. All right. The next step of this exam, I'm going to be checking your general appearance and your skin. So you can just relax. Just gonna check your scalp. Have you ever had any problems with your scalp? Any itchiness, redness, anything like that? Um, only itchiness when like. I haven't showered in a few days. Mm -hmm. And in terms of hair hygiene, how often do you shower? Shower once every two days. That's good. I'm just gonna come behind you. Just looking to see if there's any lace or nits, any lesions, any nevi. Sometimes we miss them in the scalp. It's important that we take a really close look. All right, 
looks all good. Just checking your eyebrows now. If there's any thinning, no. Please close your eyes. Just checking for any swelling. Let me know if there's any pain at all wherever I touch, okay? Palpating your sinuses. Any pain or tenderness when I do that? Okay. And then over here as well. Any pain or tenderness? No. Oh. Checking out the tracheus midline. Very good. And the palpate your thyroid. I'm gonna hide you like this. Okay. Other side. Okay, just normal glandular tissue, no nodules or enlargements. It's very good. Can you swallow for me? Okay. Good. Now I'm going to be palpating our lymph nodes. This one hurts. This one back there. Okay. Right here. Mm -hmm. So the tonsillar. Yeah. Just slightly enlarged, but it's mobile. Do you have any symptoms of sore throat or any kind of infection? I do, but I was thinking like behind my ear here. There's like a, I don't know what it is, but it kind of hurts. Right here, there's a little nodule. Okay. So uh, okay. It's because of that. I think this is more of a skin problem. Mm -hmm. Maybe like a clogged pore. I can definitely make a note of that and um, we can take a look at it again next um, in our follow up. How long have you had that? Just like very recent. Okay. It's most like, is it, it's painful you said? Yeah. It's like, kind of like a pimple. Yeah, it definitely yeah. looks like it's a clogged up pore. So I, I wouldn't be worried. There doesn't seem to be any signs of infection here. There's no pus. It's really not enlarged. It's not, um, yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. But we'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, it, it's really not that enlarged over here. Just slightly and it's perfectly mobile, so I'm not worried about that one, okay? And let's look at the submandibular, submental. Yeah, you're all good there. Let's feel these ones. Nothing there. We're just going to go in a little bit deeper on this side. Okay, other side. Good. Okay. Can you please shrug for me? Shrug? Mm -hmm. Just shrug your shoulders. Good. Okay, relax. All right. I'm also going to check your um, lymph nodes up here, axillary, the ones under your foot. So we're going to check down here. Okay. Here on the lateral side, and then at the back. No, 
no enlarge the nose. Okay. And then the subscapular. Okay, no issues there. All right, let me finish up with the skin check. And then with the Nevi, um, I'm just looking to see if there's anything that is suspicious. Um, some, if it's greater than five centimeters in diameter. So these are things that you can look out for yourself. If it's greater than five centimeters diameter, which these, uh, sorry, five millimeters, which these aren't. Um, if they have irregular borders, if they have more than two colors, and if they're evolving, changing, which um, in this case, I'm, I'm not worried about any of these. Okay. okay. Do you have any history of eczema or psoriasis? No. Okay. Good. Okay. On the side. skin looks really healthy and it's you don't have any cold hands which is good okay Very nice all right uh, we're going to continue with your exams so the eyes the ears nose the throat um, but before we do that I want to tell you three words and you're going to remember them and tell them to me again at the end of the exam all of the exams, okay? I'll, I'll let you know when to tell me. So, um, fish, banana, and chair. Okay. Okay? All right. Okay. Let's start off with the eyes. And you just look straight ahead. Just using some tangential lighting. Looking at the cornea and the iris looking for any shadows, any opacities. Okay, you look up. All right, no pallor of the conjunctiva and no redness either. Okay, now I'm going to check your um, pupillary constriction. So we're going to just do this. Okay. Great pupillary constriction. And I'm also going to measure your pupils. So five millimeters and five millimeters and they're symmetrical. Do you wear any glasses or contacts? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we're going to be doing a Snell and eye chart, just checking your optic nerve and just your vision, visual acuity. So I want you to cover one eye, okay? And read the lowest line that you can read. Do I start from here? You can start from here, yes. Four. This should be 14 inches, yeah. This looks like a circle to me. Mm, keep going. Seven. Three. Mm -hmm. And something. Okay, do you want to try the higher line? Nine, three, seven, eight, two, six. Mm hmm. I'll keep going. You keep going, please. I guess W, mm -hmm. M, E, and then the last X, three. X, O, O. Okay, good. Uh, can you co cover the other eye? And 
I want you to read that same line backwards from from here. O O X E M W six two eight seven three nine. Okay, try the bottom line again. Six two eight seven nine circle nine. <laughs> All right, thank you. So you have 20-25 vision on both eyes, which is really good. Okay, I want to do accommodation test. So just look right at this pen. Okay. Very good. Now I want you to look at the the wall behind me. Back at the pen. Wall behind me. Back at the pen. Very good. Now I want you to look at the tip of the pen. Um, don't move your head, just move your eyes, okay? Just looking to see if there's any nystagmus, which there isn't. All your Good. All your ocular muscles and nerves seem to be doing really well. That's excellent. Okay. We're going to take a look inside your throat. Okay, please open up. See, ah, ah, very good. Tonsils are not enlarged. One applause. And see, ah, again. I'm just gonna look at your uvula midline. Very good. Okay, perfect. look into your nose as well. So I'm just going to push your nose back like this. Have you had any trouble with your nose these days? I don't think so. Okay. All right. It looks fine. It's not reddened. There's no trauma to the tissue. Okay. Take a look inside your ears and then we'll circle back to the ophthalmoscopy exam. Any issues with your ears these days? No? I'm just gonna press here. Any pain? Any pain? Any pain? No. Okay. Let me know if it feels um, uncomfortable and I can always withdraw the scope. Okay. And there's quite a bit of earwax in there. <laughs> um, but I can see the tympanic membrane and it's clear, the cone of light is present, um, no cloudy discharge and bone landmarks are all present, everything's intact, very nice, no scarring either. Okay, let's take a look, um, any pain, any pain, oh. any pain back here, okay, and we're gonna come right in. At the canal, oh, it's much clearer on this side. Okay, anterior inferior cone of light, tympanic membrane, pearly gray, translucent, bony landmarks are all visible, no cloudy discharge, 
Uh, no scarring, no erythema. Hey, looks great. Thank you. Was there any pain when I went in to either ear? Okay, good to know. So just let me know if you're feeling any you know, discomfort in your eyes, and I can always take a little a short break and then come back, okay? Just look straight ahead right there. Do your best. Okay. Red light reflex is present. Up to disc ratio is less than a half. Arteries and veins. Let me just keep following them around. No, no hemorrhaging, no spots. Yeah, no issues there. Is it okay? All right, so we're gonna go move on to the next eye. Again, look straight ahead. For that red eye reflex coming closer. Okay. Okay, see the cup and the disc. There's some pigment there, it's completely normal. Arteries and veins. No nicking present, no hemorrhaging. Retina is a nice orange color, no spots. All right, beautiful. Thank you very much. I'm going to do a quick ear exam um, in terms of hearing and I want you to just close this ear right here. Here, yeah, there you go. And I'm going to whisper a number and just repeat it back to me, okay? 21. 21. Okay. Other side, look the other side. 32. 32, good. Okay, next we're going to do the Weber test. Let me know if you hear it on one side first or both sides at the same time. All right. If you can't clearly hear it on one side first, then it's most likely both sides at the same time, okay? You hear it on that side first? Yeah. Interesting. Let's try that again. Both sides. Okay. I'm going to do the Renee test. I'm going to strike the tuning fork again, place it on your mastoid process, and you're going to let me know when you stop hearing the sound. I'm going to bring it up here, let me know when you hear it, and when you stop hearing it. I want you to close your eyes. Do you hear it? Mm. Let me know when you stop hearing it. Do you still hear it? Okay. Stop. Do you hear it? Let me know when you stop hearing it. Stop. Okay. Keep your eyes closed.
Do you hear it? So we're done with the eye, ear, nose, throat exams. Um, now I would like for you to turn around and we're gonna do some lung exams, okay? So please turn around this way. So we're going to start by um, percussing and you don't have to do anything at this point. I'm just going to percuss around. Uh, the only thing you need to do is give yourself a big hug like this, perfect. And that just creates some more space between the scapulae. And that way I can really hear everything. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but, well, the same spots, but with the stethoscope. And every time my stethoscope touches your skin, I want you to just take a deep breath in and out, okay? Mm -hmm. um, is it okay if I go under your clothes? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to start on the top, actually. One second. Okay. Deep breath in and out. Breath in and out. Good. Breath in. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Are you feeling dizzy at all? No. Okay. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. One more. Deep breath in. And out. Very good. And I come over here on this side. Okay, deep breath in. And out. Breath in. And out. And again, breath in. And out. Okay, I didn't hear any adventitious sounds. I didn't hear any wheezing or, um, or any crackles or anything like that. So that's very good. Just normal vesicular breathing. Um, I'm gonna put listen again. This time I want you to whisper. One, two, three. Okay, can you do that for me? Yeah. Okay. Yes, every time my stethoscope touches you, go ahead.
Very good. So for that test, I was just um, trying to see if I could hear your whispering through the stethoscope, and I couldn't. So that's really good. Okay. I'm going to do one more exam um, back here, where I am, sorry, I'm going to just have to bring this up slightly, and I'm just going to check your chest expansion. So take a deep breath in. And out. One more time. Deep breath in. And out. Very good. Okay. Alright. For the rest of the exam, I'd like for you to lie down this way. Face up. Face up, please. Just going to palpate your carotid poles. Very good. Press it to pause and on the other side. Very good. I'm going to listen to your carotid artery. Very good. All right, now I'm going to continue to um, percuss your lungs, listen to your lungs, and then listen to your heart, okay? So for the percussion, Ticklish? Yeah. Other side. Now we're going to take a listen. Okay, every time my stethoscope touches your skin, take a deep breath in and out. Now I'm going to listen to the heart sounds. I'm just palpating for the second rib. And I'm going to go under the shirt again. Okay? You don't have to do anything. Just 
sits into the heart. Just going to turn it to the bow and listen again. Okay. I didn't hear any abnormalities. Your S1 and S2 sounds were clear. No extra sounds, no splitting, no murmurs. Okay. All right. Now is it okay if we move on to the optimum exam? Mm -hmm. I'm going to start by listening to your bowel sounds. Bell sounds are present throughout, um, not too many as well. Okay. I'm going to do a light palpation. Let me know if you feel any pain. Okay. Any pain anywhere? I hope it's pain, but I guess here. Right here? Yeah. Can you describe the pain for me? It's kind of like cramps pain. Okay. I think it's more tender. It's tender. Is your menstrual cycle coming up? Okay. That's all? Just a little tender. Yeah. Okay, how would you rate that from 1 to 10? 1 being very little pain, 10 being the most pain you ever felt. A bit too. 2? Okay, so just, I'll make a note of it. Alright. Now I'm going to do a deeper palpation, alright? It might feel a little uncomfortable. Can you please raise your legs, uh, raise your knees, just like this, so you can just relax the abdomen muscles. Just try to relax as best as you can. Okay. Is it okay down there? I'm also going to palpate your kidneys. So I'm just going to bring my hand down here. Okay. Can you please take a deep breath in and out and in and out? Okay. Kidneys are not popping side, I'll check on the other side. Take a deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Okay, 
Now I'm going to be palpating her liver. So just relax. Take a deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. I wasn't able to palpate the liver. Are you now, supposed to palpate it? Mm, only if it's enlarged, I can oh. palpate. Or maybe the tip a little bit, but I couldn't palpate that for you. So now I'm going to attempt to palpate the spleen. Deep breath in and out. 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 Nope. Could not feel the spleen. That's good. And now I'm just going to find your abdominal aorta, which I actually, when I was down here, I felt it. There it is. Okay. Let me just measure that really quickly. Three centimeters, it's not enlarged. Okay. And while I'm here, I'm going to listen to your abdominal aorta and your renal arteries. We're going to start by doing the Vinsky reflex. Okay, perfect. Okay. And now we're just going to do some muscular exams. So I want you to just here, push into my hand here. Okay. And now, I want you to push into my hand here, so upwards. Here, let me hold you. Push. Good. And then push down. Good. Okay. Now I want you to push up into my hand this way. Push up. Okay. And then push down. And then push up with your big toe. Good. All right. Other side. I'm just going to raise this. Okay, now push up into my hand. Good. Push up. And push down. Very good. Push up with that. Okay, and push down. And then push up with your. Okay, very good. All right. I also want to just check your pulses. So I'm just going to write this. Okay. Just looking for your popliteal pulse. Looking for your posterior tibialis. Yes. Be hard to find sometimes. Okay, and then your dorsal pedis. Okay. 
Okay. Other leg. Posterior tibialis. And then the dorsal penis. Okay, very good. check your reflexes but before I do that there was one more joint I wanted to check it's your temporomandibular joint can you open up your mouth and close and open and close it's actually quite smooth one more time okay Have you ever had any issues with your TMJ joint? Mm -hmm. Okay, it doesn't seem like you have. Any... One more time. Okay, now I feel it. <laughs> now close it? Yeah, okay, so it is a little asymmetrical. I make that in a minute. Um, but honestly, most people this, this age have TMJ issues just from stress and just clenching their jaw too much. So, so it's really important to do different jaw exercises. Like, opening closing moving from side to side every day just get that moving okay all right now let's do your reflexes and just relax good Before I move down to the lower reflexes, I'm going to check your muscles here. So push up into my hands. Okay, relax. I'm just going to hold this. Push up into my eye. Uh, sorry, let me hold here. Push up into my hand. Okay. Now push up into my hand. Good. Hold my hands and grip as tight as you can. Very good. Other side. Hold this. Push into my hand. Okay. Push back into my hand. Using your tricep. Yeah, go back. There we go. Okay. Push up. Down. Sorry, this was the tricep. That would have been the part of the deltoid. All right, now let's move on to your lower reflexes. Okay. Relax. Relax as much as you can. Good. Good. All right. Do you remember those three words from before? <laughs> Fish. Banana chair. Good job. <laughs> All right. That's the end of your exams. Do you have any questions for me? No, I don't. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. All right. I'll see Thank you later. You. Bye.